Semen volume and ejaculation force varies from man to man, context to context, and from one ejaculation to another. On average, ejaculation volume or semen volume ranges from approximately half teaspoon to one teaspoon per ejaculation. Now this cocktail consists of fluid from several places. The bulbal urethral glands, which are two small pea-sized shaped glands located underneath the prostate. From the tray glands, which are located within the penile urethra. From the prostate, which 15 to 30% of the fluid comes from that. A small contribution from the testicles in the form of sperm and a whopping 65 to 80% from the seminal vesicles, which are two glands that are located on the back of the bladder. And this fluid is protective fluid for your sperm. Semen volume is dependent on several factors such as age, hydration, nutrition, vasectomy, prostatectomy, ejaculation frequency, and your overall health. Weak ejaculation often coincides with perceived low semen volume. The force of an ejaculation also varies and are influenced by several factors such as age, medications, retrograde ejaculation, decreased levels of male sex hormone, and weak pelvic floor muscles. Luckily, low semen volume is not a cause for medical panic. The experience of orgasm and ejaculation is personal, and it will vary from man to man, experience to experience. There's no correlation between semen volume and sexual satisfaction in men. So if you're concerned about your semen volume or ejaculate force, the question isn't, why is my semen volume low? but rather it should be, why am I distressing about it? Now, don't get me wrong. I completely understand that when our body starts to function differently and there's changes, especially related to our sexual functioning and how we relate and identify to this part of our body, it can be distressing. So if you are determined to improve the power behind your punch, Here's three things that you can try. Strengthen your pelvic floor muscles, particularly the muscles that are around the, the penis. So you have the bulbospongiosis muscle and you have the ischiocavernosis muscles on the sides and then the transverse perineal muscles here. Now these muscles are intimately involved in the ejaculation process and they contract and relax rhythmically and involuntarily to help expel semen from the penile urethra. Work on building your sexual appetite. Arousal and desire are the biggest power producers for sexual satisfaction. So maybe you can think about ways to build your sexual energy and to keep that simmering throughout the day. And lastly, there are some medications out there that can help to improve your sexual functioning. But just know that medications are not the single be-all answer for the solution to sexual health difficulties. That being said, there's no magic bullet here, fellas. Sexuality is complex and deserves a whole person approach when we're dealing with sexual health concerns. And remember, you have more to offer as a sexual being than just your penis, your balls, and the fluid in between. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and hit the like button below. This will help other guys in your situation also find these resources sooner than later. If you're a penis owner who's currently struggling with pelvic pain, you're not alone. Check out the Men's DIY Pelvic Pain Relief Program. The link is in the description below.